Elbow relocation techniques for a posterior elbow reduction. It's a standard reduction technique for a posterior elbow dislocation. First thing you want to do is just grab the patient's hand, do a hand check. <laughs> um, put your put your other hand on the uh, in the cubital fossa. This works better if the hand, the arm is slightly supinated. It won't work so well if they're pronated. And what you want to do is just traction. Flexion. And you can also just do a little bit of side to side walking if it's not going to slip back in. And up to about 9 degrees, pump, it's back in. Standard traction counter traction method. Shake their hand and hold it. Their elbow is flexed and the forearm supinated. Apply traction and flexion whilst your other hand steadies the arm in the cubital fossa. Continue up to around 90 degrees where the elbow should reduce. Interlocking elbow technique. What you do is you stand beside or, or behind the patient, and um, I'm just going to grasp his hand with my hand. I'm going to put my arm over his elbow, so my my arm will be a fulcrum for which to flex the elbow over, and we essentially flex. And plunk it usually uh, reduces at that point. Interlocking hand technique. Stand beside the patient and interlock your hand from behind. Make sure your arm's over their elbow because this will act as the fulcrum. Flex their arm and pull over yours to reduce. Prone technique for reducing a dislocated elbow. Essentially what we're going to do is apply some traction on the forearm. Put your hand on the electron and what we're going to do, traction and pushing, we're going to just Click that back into place with traction and pressure over the electron on with some flexion. For the prone technique, the patient is prone, their elbows flexed with the forearm hanging downwards. Get your assistant to pull downwards on the forearm whilst your thumbs press downwards on the electron on to effect a reduction. That's the prone technique. <laughs>